Yo boys, what's going on? Jackson here from Rune TCG, and today I am so excited to finally show you guys Rune TCG set two. Yes, you heard that right, set two. Uh, it's so crazy that I'm able to show you guys this. I think they look a lot more clean. Um, I I went into my or my own style for set two, and you guys saw the journey of me making set two instead of I kind of made set one all by myself and then I made my channel but set two is gonna be a, such a it's kind of like our thing guys and I'm super excited to show this to you guys so I'll be opening two packs of set two and oh screw it one pack of set one just uh um, well no we'll just open two packs of set two for today but um, before I get into it, make sure to subscribe if you want to get your hands on set one or the starter decks. Uh, the link to the online store will be down in the description. You can get those now. Set two, I think, has to wait like a week or something to be able to get released. But if you're seeing this video a bit later than when it actually comes out, yes, you can go get set two as well. Probably my next, next, next two videos, you'll be able to get set two, which is going to be really cool. Enough rambling. Guys, um, uh, I'll just show you what a set one booster pack looks like. Um, this is what I started out with. I honestly don't really like it anymore. I don't like that there's so many characters and then the main logo. I don't... Uh, I like the color and stuff, and I, I really like it. I like the design and stuff, but I'm, I am think the set two design is way more clean. And so, without further ado, guys, this is set two. Rune TCG. Abyssal Abominations. Um, I really like this colored rune TCG. It's a bit harder to kind of see in this, in the blue, um, like, front of the foil packs, but I really like it, and the, there's only one main guy on the front of the pack, so, which is really cool. I never actually showed you him. His name is Tortel Mox. Hopefully we can get him in these two packs. Probably not, but I really think it'd be really cool if we could get a really rare, uh, really rare Torpedo Mox or the ridiculously rare um, stamp, which I think could be really cool. But without further ado, guys, let's open it. Um, it's been such a journey. It's like, I think, seven months of work, which might not seem like a lot, but for me it is because I... I don't know. I've always kind of done things faster than a lot of other people, like some TCG channels. Um, I don't want to really ruin this pack, but I, I guess I have a decent amount of them. Because I got enough packs to do like a draft for some of my friends. And I think I saw the first card, which is really cool. So, I I love these, these um, checkered things on the cards they were in the starter decks too but these have always been in the cards and i just love the way they feel guys you just kind of have to feel them these are so cool um and let's just get into it first card <laughs> oh my goodness and just so you guys know there is this little symbol at the um, bottom that has shows it's set two so, the first card is the new mechanic from set 2, the plus mechanic, Napata Mecha Dragon. Rare. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. I get to see the new runes as well, like new designed runes. I think it's really cool. Plus research, common card. I really like. This is so cool. White Tortellon. Blue Tortellon. Actually, I'm going to put these Tortellons to the side, because maybe we can get them all. Blue Tortellon. Haunted Gordas. This is a really powerful card. I think I made the video on Haunted Pumpkin, and I showed Haunted Gordas in that video. Um, Our next card is, the, is a boss from one of the archetypes in set 2. Megaloviator of the Deep. 210 HP, 315 attack and it's a really powerful card um and it's a five cost which is the first five cost for blue which is really cool then we got norfilm card snip frozen harpo kerpus really cool ability norfilm oh no this is a frozen harpo kerpus 
This was Norfilm P. Lantusis. Then we got Blaka, really powerful, just defensive piece. Togeta Anglefish. Um, I think we got at least one thing from every archetype. Oh no, we didn't. We didn't get the black archetype. But we did get everything else, which I think is really cool. Especially for the first pack. Uh, I think this is our final rare. It's Lock On. Really cool spell. Green Tartellon. Wow. Um, put that. And of course, there's the, um, last, um, card from the archetypes. That's, now we have at least one card from every archetype, which is really cool. Deblige Vaporizer. This card is so powerful in, like, competitive battles and stuff. If I got this in the draft, I would be so happy. Like, this card is so good, guys. Bag of Spikes. Not all that great of a card, but I really like its artwork. Then our final card is Rune Beam. Yeah, I love how these cards turn out. I love how the Game Crafter does them. And it's just so cool to be able to open it. I, I, of course, I can't recreate the... Um, like, the amount of joy I had from uh, opening up the first, my like, the first time I ever opened up my packs. But this is still really cool. I'm just going to adjust the camera. Okay. So let's open the final pack. I'm actually just going to cut this one's top open because I like... Did I cut any cards? No, it's just being a bit of annoying. Okay. So cool, guys. Um, flip it over, because I think... Yep, okay. Let's take that. See, this is so much more clean. This is how I like to open my packs. Because um, then you get to keep the artwork. Which I think is really cool. And let's see what our first card is. Creepy Makeup. It seems to be starting with a rare every time. Creepy Makeup is a cool card. It makes cards like Mort for weak cards that have 15 or less HP or attack, and they can gain tons of stats from it. Really good card. Another rune beam. It kind of sucks that we're getting re that we got a reprint um, from a 100 card set, but you know it's okay. I, I'm okay with it. Leonard Harper Kerpus. Green rune. No, it's actually I don't think I've ever opened a green rune from a pack, so this is pretty cool to see. Sun Spear Plus. Another plus card. I really like the plus cards, and I think Sun Spear Sun Spear Plus was the first one, so that's pretty cool. Techna Trident, um, it's, it's really good. It kind of power creeps a card that was in set one, one, but I think it actually, I think they're kind of balanced, to be honest. Another creepy makeup, oh. Oh, I know how that happened. Hmm. That sucks. Well, well, that means one, that means we're probably not going to get a really rare, or, um, bra rare from these packs, but that's okay. That's, that sucks, too. Um, Stickly Hend. Pretty good. Just basic card. Barrage. Constrict. Casca Magus. Really good card. Threshore of the Deep. I like this card a lot. Oh, uh, Warpole Wyvern, one of my personal, like, favorite artworks from set two. It's really cool to get. More Crux Z. Another plus research. Arcus. Shady Swap. And Flaster. Pretty good card. So, um, actually, guys, let's just open another set two card. I really want to get a good card if we're not if we don't get another one i won't i won't open a fourth pack but um i have a lot of packs to open so let's open a third pack for this video let me know down in the comments if you would like to get your hands on one of my packs or which card you liked from this video um we didn't start out with a rare which is good deserted wastelands pretty good environment um draw support environment Oh my gosh. This is our third creepy makeup. Oh my gosh. Not, well, at least we have a playset of it, but I don't... Eh, oh, that, really, that really sucks. Uh, white Tortellon, we already have that. We need black and red Tortellon. To deck Togeta Jello. 
Norfilm Karchnip, Techno Trident, Framboon, I really like this card, makes green pretty good, it's rare, uh, Thresher of the Deep, Barrage, Surprise Wormhole, pretty good card, Rainbow Rune, plus Research, we got that in every pack. Lonely Isle, I think that's our final rare, which kind of sucks. We haven't gotten a rune, though. Which is... Red rune, actually. That's our second red rune. I really like red... I, I really like the runes, though. I, I like how like they're different. Norfilm Tonk, Takna. Frozen Harple Corpus. Kipple Agent Guardian. And I saw the last card, the Bleach Vaporizer. Again, to end it out. Yeah, um... This is a kind of a bit of a disappointing. We didn't get opening. We didn't really get anything too great. But I don't think it can be disappointed when you're opening up your own packs that you've worked so hard to get um, out there in the world. And yeah, uh, it really mean a lot to me, guys. If you could check me out on the Game Crafter, maybe pick up a pack so you don't really have to. Starter decks are what I would recommend getting because um, you can start playing right away, which is really nice. But yeah, um, this was set to. This was my first set to opening. I think it's a pretty good um, reveal for all cards that we didn't show off and set to like sneak peeks videos and stuff like that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and goodbye.